thank everyone for uh, welcoming me here and also uh, the invitation to come. I want to congratulate the World Internet Project team in Poland. I, we have been doing the uh, surveys like you've just heard for a number of years, and I know how difficult it is and how much effort it takes, and so I congratulate you on that. And also the sponsors. Um, this is very difficult. It's expensive to do, and it, you require multiple sponsors and so forth. Um, it gets valuable every time, every additional survey means that uh, the value of what you've done increases dramatically because you begin to see real trends over time. And uh, hopefully I'll speak about some of the trends we're seeing in the UK and elsewhere and globally. Um, I was particularly impressed and I'm sure you've seen, you've had the same sense that uh, the team has reported to you what they've found and uh, they're not trying to impose a particular interpretation on, uh, on you. You can probably make out what you wish from uh, what they presented. And I think that's ideal, where you can develop your own interpretation of the findings. So what I will do, I'm not going to try to, I know you're not as interested in Britain as you are in Poland. So uh, I'm going to try to try create some ideas that have come out of the trends that I see in Britain and worldwide. And that hopefully you can, we can then talk about how Poland fits within developing trends in other countries around the world. Um, that's why I'm talking about the next generation user. I think that's perhaps the central idea I'd like to get across, uh, but hopefully more than that. Uh, you know, they, uh, the idea of focusing on the user, there is an old aphorism, uh, a Greek uh, saying that know thyself. And the problem with in the computing world, most people who design computer systems only think about themselves. <laughs> they only design for themselves. And so that many people say, actually, if you design telecommunications or computing, you should think about the user and know thy user rather than know thyself. And so what uh, I'd like just to play on that a bit. And I think what we should start thinking about is designing for the future the, what, what users are moving towards. And I think know thy next generation user is uh, what I think we should be talking about now. Just as... Uh, very similar to your World Internet Project in Poland. We have the same age group. We do a multi-stage probability sample so that we can extrapolate to Britons as a whole. Uh, we have about the same number of people, about 2,000 every year. Um, we get sponsorship from multiple sponsors, including Ofcom, our regulator, and a, a mobile phone company, O2, and ITV, and the British Library. So. Um, and we're part of the World Internet Project, which is very valuable. I'm sorry. I'm not used to using a microphone. The, uh, can you, if you don't hear me, just uh, raise your hand and I'll, I'll try to do better. OK. So, and we've, we started in 2003. So you, uh, it gets, you begin to see these trends. And uh, I think that trends are what I would like to focus on today. Everyone's talking about. Um, trends in internet use, and what are they? Of course, everybody talks about the uh, iPads and iPhones and uh, the, the new, new smartphones and new tablet computers and um, the, the growth of mobile in a variety of countries. And we, of course, noticed a number of trends. So, for example, in the UK, clearly most three-fourths of homes have a computer, but they have multiple computers. So we saw a growth of the number of computers in the home. So a lot of homes have three or more computers. I mean, you know, I know we're different from most people, but there are times when I've had three or four computers on my desktop, right? But, uh, but most homes now have three or more, com some, ha some have three, 18% of homes in Britain have three computers or more. And then we also noticed the uh, growth in the number of devices generally. So what do we see? We see a growth in, um, uh, you saw the up update in um, uh, handheld readers, for example. That was the first time we even asked about readers in the Oxford Internet Survey was this year. And about 7% of people have a reader. You can see that the tablet computer, that is significant growth. 
in the last several years, but in the last two years, it's been the most dramatic growth. So we were trying to make sense of this, and we saw two things going on. One is a real growth in mobile use of the internet. In other words, people accessing the internet for two or more uh, applications uh, over the, a, a, smart, a mobile device. And also a growth in the number of devices people are using. So they're using readers, tablets, laptop. You, you saw your growth, the growth of laptop computers in Poland as well. So there's more portability, mobility over multiple devices using anywhere, anytime. So we tried to put that together. We created an indicator that, that put together people who have multiple devices and use some of those devices on the, on the go to ac actually ac uh, access the internet in a mobile way. And then we worked back, we discovered this next generation user, which 44% of users in Britain are m next generation users using these multiple devices, often mobily. And then we worked backwards to estimate how this changed over time. And you could see that began in 2007, but it's increased dramatically. So what we, our whole report is about the rise of the next generation user. And I think you'll, you'll the next generation user is coming in Poland, uh, I think, well, I will conclude with, but we'll get there in a minute. Now, that's good news, but in a way, it's interesting to me that this change is going on amid real stability. So on one ground, you see this chart shows you that actual access to the internet has not changed dramatically over time. So even in 2003, 59% of people in Britain, 14 years old or over 14 years old, were uh, using the internet. And it's only come to 40, 73%. So there's almost a very slow increase in the diffusion of the internet. The digital divide in Britain is still very significant. A quarter of people in Britain, more than a quarter of people in Britain are not online. But looking at that stability is deceptive in a way because what we're seeing is real dramatic transformation in the way people are using the internet. So the people who are using the internet are changing dramatically. And there you can see the increase of from 13% of, you, of the British public in 2007 to 32% of the, of the British public in 2011 that are actually next generation users. So it's a transformation in the patterns of use of the internet, even though use of the internet is dr not dramatically increasing. Now, does it make a difference? And I would argue, yes, it does. It's actually we're finding a very strong relationship between patterns of use, patterns of access, and the way people use the internet. So here's, for example, people who are using the internet as a next generation user are much more likely to be generating content, okay? So they're visiting social networking sites, posting photos, posting videos, they have a personal website, they write a blog, they post creative work. All of them significant, large differences between first and next generation users. 